Let your customers drive your test automation. Is that even possible? Is that a way to do? I think yes, and I saw something really cool that you have to watch as well today in this video. So stay tuned till the very end. Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is still Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here, and welcome to that really cool video. The title is already really cool, right? Like, let your users drive the test automation and what I'm talking about, right? Like, what is this guy talking about? Is he crazy now, finally? No, I'm not. Today, I would like to show you a really cool product that I had access to, and I'm really happy to show it for you today and also, as always, in a live demo. So not just like checking the, the websites, but also in a live demo. So today, I would like to talk about Catalon True Test. Maybe you have heard already about it. And maybe you have heard about already about Catalon. So let's take a look who's Catalon, what are they doing, and what is True Test all about. So as you can see here, that's the Catalon website. So Catalon is a test automation provider, but testing provider for various products. So as you can see here, we check the platform specifica. We can do test authoring in Catalon Studio, test management in Catalon Test Ops, execution, reporting, and also AI power testing. And you can already see, oops, that was too fast. There is something called true test, and we come to that in a second. They offer solutions for web testing, desktop, uh, mobile API, enterprise API, and also visual API testing or visual testing. And so it's fairly easy to, to set up Catalon Studio and to start writing your test automation scripts or your test planning with the Catalon product. So go out, check out the website for really cool products. And also, if you haven't seen my previous video about the Catalon stuff that I've done, check it out. It's really cool stuff. It's again an AI topic. So the first, or like, I think it was a combination of videos. Like the first one was about a GPT plugin for uh, your Jira instance, and the other one was a um, GPT integration of Catalon Studio. So like how to create test documentation, documentation to explain the code, but how to generate code test automation code exactly from a um, documentation from a comment. So that's really cool. So check it out. Check the video description or check the, the corner uh, on the top right um, on this video. But without further talking on the existing products that Catalan is already offering, let's take a look at TrueTest. And what is TrueTest all about? So we have the landing page of TrueTest. So in case you would like to get access to click that join the beta button, check in the video description to get also early access and to see how cool Catalon Studio is. Not Catalon Studio, TrueTest, of course. Um, so what is TrueTest all about? So initially it says it's an AI powered regression testing tool. Yes, AI stuff is really hot at the moment and I love a lot of AI stuff. So I'm really happy that I have the chance to do that video for you. And basically the AI uh, topic that TrueTest is covering is the regression testing is a hamster wheel problem. And we all know that, right? Like it's it's really hard to keep the tests up and uh, up and running. They're getting more complex. They will never have enough time for testing. The testing scope increases all the time. At the same time, uh, test automation engineers, they would like to increase the coverage of the test automation scripts, but they, they try really hard in doing so, but maybe they miss the most important thing in the application, so-called blind spots, as it's called here. And with true test, that's not going to happen anymore because finally it brings light into your application. And I was really amazed when I saw it the first time and then how I had to install it basically because the installation process takes a couple of seconds. I can show that in a second. What you have to do is basically, so as you can also see on that screen here, the green parts is something that a human has to do and the rest is being done by TrueTest, and that's the cool thing. So it's not only checking the, the user behavior, we'll come to that in a second, creating the test cases, creating the test execution, but it's also maintaining, or like doing the maintenance work for you in terms of regressions. And to be honest, we all know that a developer is changing the code base of the application, but of course he or she is missing to fix the test and to, to adapt the test, and then we have flaky tests, and that's not something that we would like to have, right? And that's where, TrueTest is coming into place and that's the really cool thing. So you can increase the test coverage of your application really on the user journeys. And that's also what we hear in the communities. Like 
when you do like UI end-to-end -end automation testing, focus on the users, focus on the user journeys. What are users doing with the application and not just blindly automate steps that are written in an in a, in a acceptance criteria. Focus on what, what's matter to the users. And that's the thing that TrueTest is, is um, doing here. But without talking and showing websites, let's see Catalon TrueTest in action. So what do we have? We have a web application. In this case, it's an e-commerce web shop where you can buy plants, trees, flowers, and whatnot. So we have, a, we have a start page, we have a product landing page. This is just for demo purposes. It's not a real one. So don't, um, don't be afraid. So you can click that thing here. You get the product detail page. See, it's a really, a really cheap uh, plant. You can get it in the, in the different sizes. You can put it to the basket. It's in the basket. From there, you can do the checkout, right? And I was acting like a user, like users would like, uh, you are using like e-commerce shops. And you haven't noticed it, but TrueTest was already in action. TrueTest agent was checking what I was doing and is doing something in the background already for you, tester, developer, product manager. And how? So what is TrueTest doing? So if you're familiar with web applications and also mobile applications or any applications, you know that there's always some sort of analytics part of the application, part of the process. So companies add analytics, uh, tracking tokens, pixels, to basically track what are the users doing in the application. What are the path users is going through? What's the funnel they're going through? And this is, this is needed for product people and also for development teams in order to optimize um, the, the product for the customers and to, to provide the best experience, right? And the, he, this is where TrueTest comes in and TrueTest is doing something similar. Yeah. So, and then the most important thing is, you might have thought before, TrueTest is not like a capture and replay tool. Like you have to, you know, capture something and while I'm clicking now, you know, the, the, the tool knows what I have clicked. No, TrueTest is doing the similar thing like an analytics tool. It's basically checking where a user has clicked, what were the click paths, and based on that information, the, uh, the AI in the background is generating the test cases, the test scripts for you. So how do you integrate TrueTest into your environment? It's fairly easy if you check on your code base. In that case, I will show you the source code of the application of the web shop. And I marked it already for you. So as you can see here, you add like a tiny little script tag into your application, which says, okay, we have a source where a so-called traffic agent is running. And then we have a traffic agent, we have some, some IDs, and then that's it. Test automation set up, done. You know, of course, you need access to your code base. If you have that, check that in the, in the repository, do the review, do the testing, of course, and then let TrueTest do the magic for you. So what's going to happen? So is, let's assume you put that tracking agent into your uh, production code and you run this for let's say day two depending on your customers how often and how frequently they use your product and then you go back into catalon test ops right so that's the test ops environment i will not go into the specifica of the of the test ops environment uh, you can check them out yourself they have really great resources as well on the catalon page for you to know and but if you like on the test ops environment you can see we have this navigation dashboard planning and so forth and we have true test now let's click on true test. And then we see here, we have a user journey map overview. First of all, we get uh, an overview. What are the applications that true test is being activated for? And then we can see down below user journey maps. So either we can generate one. If we click generate, it takes a while. It will explode the video because it takes a couple of minutes depending on the, uh, depending on the, the amount of clicks that you have done on the application. It takes sometimes also a bit longer. Uh, so as you can see, I already did some preparation, of course, for that video. We have one archived um, user journey map and one that has been generated just a couple of minutes before. So let's check the details. So we open up it, this, and that's the user journey map. The very first time I, I saw this, I was like, this looks like it's uh, running like a, like a um, Formula One circuit, right? But it isn't actually. It's exactly how your customers are using your product. So these are the flows. And the thicker the line gets, the more traffic is on that road, for example. So as you can see here, we have the shop, we have the entry. We, we, uh, so the, the users can go on the, on, the, on the landing page of the shop, like the, 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 the start page, so to say. And from there, they click on the product. And then on the product, they are on the product landing page, detail page, 
there go straight to the checkout. So they put something into the basket, which is good. And from there, they go to the checkout process. At the same time, we have people on the product landing page going, for example, to the recommendation page or to the featured page and so forth and so forth. You can also see that people coming from the, from the main page, they're going to search or they do like, uh, what else do we have here? We have a couple of users doing the sign up uh, on the sign in process. And that's the cool part. That's really, really cool. Because the first time, at least that I have seen it, that you can visualize the actually user flows with testing in mind. Of course, we have something similar in product development in analytics data, but that is super easy to, to, to take a look at, right? And then as you can see here on the, on the left hand side, we have nine pages covered by the user journey map, 20 actions. If we scroll, oops, if we scroll down below, we can see we have four user flows with four test cases generated in the test environment. And this is the cool part. The user actions triggers already some AI magic and we have four test cases that have been generated and you can execute it on your test environment to put them into your test suite, into your CICD pipeline, or you can also ex execute the generated test from TrueTest in your Catalan Studio instance. So if you check out everything that Catalan uh, TrueTest has been generated, you can see it also there in your code repository. And for, of course, you can integrate this into your, um, <coughs> excuse me, into your CICD pipeline. Yeah, so what also is really cool, you can see the traffic. So what are really, like, really um, the most used click paths or journeys a user has been done in your application, can see here test case one is also like the number one priority has high traffic yeah and if you click on view steps you can see what um, true test has been recorded so for it's just like okay open the page click on something put it to basket and so forth and if you click on view test case you can see more details so on the detailed side on the test case you see like you can add some more descriptions you can see who is the maintainer you can add some custom fields, some tags, depending on your setup that you have. You can also link it to, for example, in this case, a Jira ticket, a user story, an Epic, whatever you have there, you can link it. So you'd have direct link to the basically the, the execute or not the generated test case. You get some performance data in case you execute it and some history data as well. So that's cool. You can also link it to a defect if you'd like to. Then of course you can add it to a test suite and then to execute it. So we can say here, Add to test suite. Uh, do we have any test suites over here? Oops, yes, we have a regression test suite. We have it over here, so it's added. We can check the we can check the details on it. So you can see here we have them already added. So they have test case, we have some history data as well. So let's take a look on the history data. You can see like when was it executed, how often was it executed, and so forth and so forth. Fairly easy to do. This cool thing. On the execution page or on the reports page, you can also get some more requirements, test cases, defect, but also visual testing. So what has been done with the execution, what parts have been covered in, in your application, like you can uh, add baseline images and so forth, but this is not tightly connected to TrueTest, that's already in test ops. Yeah. So going back to test ops is that, what I wanted to say is that it's super easy to integrate into your product. When I was doing it myself, it's just like super fast. And if you have a web application and you would like to have like a, a, a bird's eye view on the click path of your application, I mean, you could get this information already, but for me, it's the first time that I see this analytics data is actually for testing people and for developing people usage, not only, only for product people or product development, which is really important to be honest, but finally we can get a view on things that our customers are doing on the product. And that's so cool and that's super helpful and I can give it a try. I mean, it, that's super easy to integrate, yeah? And um, what I would like to mention here is, um, I talked of course to Catalon and got some more details, like, hey, how is this working out? This is so cool, let me know more about it. And also you can check the, um, the video description. I put like a webinar link there as well from Catalon we get also direct uh, insights from the from the creators of the Catalan Studio and um, TrueTest, and that's really cool. And 
um, I asked him like, hey, what's what's going on? This is like, is it like an on-cloud solution or is it also possible to get it on-premise and stuff? And they said, yes, on-prem is in the making. So for now it's a cloud only version, but you can get it also on-premise in case you have some data, data con uh, privacy topics. And also worth mentioning right now that for now in this beta version, it's beta, let's also say here, it's beta. <laughs> they use um, um, the, an open AI, so it's a public LLM. So be aware if you put anything in there that is not something for the public, don't do it. But um, I also got the, 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 the promise that um, no sensitive data is leaving the browser. So everything stays in the browser, nothing is being sent to a public LLM. So that's safe already. So it will never leave the browser. The cool thing is that's really cool. So in case you have a, already a, pub, a private LLM running in your company with trained data, has the context of your application, of your product, go talk to Catalon because they can do something for you to get access of TrueTest to your private LLM as well. This is also in the making once the, the, the product reaches the non-beta state, right? So, but in case you have it already, go talk to them because they're also looking for early adopters in that field in order to also to help them improve the product. And that's the cool thing, right? I mean, that's what I love about the testing community is the support in getting something better to improve things. And as I mentioned, I talked to Catalon and they're doing a lot of great stuff and they're so open for the community responses here. So please take a look, talk to them and um, to try it out yourself. And I'm really, I'm really amazed what, what, uh, what what I've seen here and what I've done before with TrueTest because I mean if you have set up in a test uh, automation framework before we all know it takes time you need to download things you need to run it somewhere you need to uh, build a testing framework around it and so forth and so forth and with that you get an e easy fast and bird's eye view on the customer user journeys and that's what we would like to focus on right having end-to-end -end test automation user journeys should be in in place and not try to automate everything. It doesn't make sense. Focus on the most important things for your customers. And I think then uh, a development team can only win. So that's the cool part. So let me know what you think about TrueTest. I really like it. I really think that's the way to go. That's how a test automation framework should work. Super easy setup and then giving a bird's eye view on the most important things that our customers are using. I hope to see more things like that coming out from Catalon in the future. I'm, I'm really confident that this is going to happen. Um, as I mentioned, check the video description for further links and also for you to get early access to the, to the product. As always, leave me a thumbs up, leave a subscription in case you would like to support me and let me know in the comments what you think about TrueTest. And with that, thank you for coming by today. See you soon. Bye bye.